So Dean, KK4DAS here. I just upgraded my uh, SBITX uh, software to the 64-bit version, version 3.026 um, by JJ, uh, W9JES, and it's working quite well. JJ was kind enough to uh, make some mods uh, to make it work with my uh, homebrew SBITX here, which does not have a real-time clock enabled, so you got the clock code fixed. And that's working well. Uh, when I first brought it up, it wasn't um, wasn't decoding uh, FT8, but um, that is not a problem anymore. It decodes well, and I'm making contacts already. Um, I'm very happy with the with the way the rig is working right now. Um, I'm starting to um, uh, come to the end of the road of development here. Um, I'm pretty uh, pretty pleased with it. Um, next things I have to do are. Uh, integrate the directional coupler and uh, SWR watt meter. There's a little AT tiny right there. I've already got it programmed. And then I just got a real-time clock in. I'll put that in. And once those two things are in, and the hardware build is complete, um, and uh, then it's a matter of figuring out how I want to package it up. Now, I am thinking about putting this in a wooden box with all the analog pieces inside and with the uh, with the digital, with the display, and the Raspberry Pi um, uh, sitting on the top. Now on my build, you can see here, the Pi is connected directly to the back of the display, and then the SBITX hat, so nicely provided by Farhan, is right on the top of that. So thinking about how I want to package that up so that it's not uh, kind of all exposed, but then maybe have one ribbon cable from the digital module into the analog module for all the various connections. So I'm at the stage of what uh, I think Rick Campbell called socketry, which is the frustrating part for me because it's really just about fit and finish. And, and uh, then, of course, once you package it up, all kinds of new things can occur like RFI and other things. But that's where we are today. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Dean, KK4DAS.